Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to Kingsway. You might be looking at this and saying, what the, the hell am I looking at? And uh, I really couldn't tell you other than this. Kingsway is a new game brought out by Adult Swim Games and it is an RPG presented as an old, like, early to mid 90s operating system, like a, a Windows 95 version of an RPG kind of thing. I think it'll be self-explanatory when we start playing, um, but it seems like a really unique take on it. I wanted to check it out and I wanted to show you guys in case it interests you and you guys want to go check it out yourself. So with that in mind, let's check out Kingsway. We're going to, I guess, hit on new ad adventure. What's shop? Spend gems to permanently unlock gifts, new appearance settings, and hotkeys. Collect gems by leveling up characters. Higher levels, earn more gems. And so we can buy starting gifts, new appearances. Well, this is all presented like it's Windows 95, and it's giving me nostalgia for something that doesn't even exist because this game didn't exist. But it, I grew up on these old operating systems. So new adventure. Uh, this will be Mathis. Uh, we will be a may ooh beastkin because I love to be a furry. Uh, we'll go mage. I don't know if I want to do a daily leader, but is it gonna be like a roguelike? And we'll edit portrait. I mean, I just want a sweet hairstyle there. That's good enough for me. And I'll be pale as hell because that's just who I am. I got kind of big ears actually. Is that an option? I don't know how much I give a crap about like modifying my appearance, but that sad tired look is about as me as you can get. So we'll hit accept. I'll be a mage. We'll hit accept, choose a starting gift, or a mage, why don't we pick two starting magic points? Whoa, all right. Double click on the world navigator to travel through the land of Kingsway. All right. All right. The yellow circles on the map are map nodes. Click on a node to travel to its location or inspect it for more information. All right, so we'll just go ahead and click on that and how about we inspect it? Training, can I expand this? <laughs> Training room, distance under 12, location, boat. I'm on a, I'm on a boat? Sure, alright, let's travel. Alright, I love the presentation of this game. <laughs> there is a battle dummy. Some locations have events that trigger when you arrive. You must deal with the event before you can continue traveling. Alright, let's attack the battle dummy. The battle dummy appears. Can I move the window? I wish I could move the window. When in battle, you can choose an ability... Uh, wait. When in battle, you can choose an available skill. Each skill has a special use, and uh, some are faster than others. Press this skill to to attack your target. Can I move this? I can't. We all right. We attacked. So this must be his action bar, and like if he'll do something, at, if if it reaches that, and then this is ours, and it's still alive. Okay, two, four. All right, we got one more. So you kind of want to. I guess you would want to spam it. We got uh, five experience. We can loot it. Nothing was found. Leave and continue. You attacked the dummy. Oh, I can move this, though. Cool. All right, continue. You will encounter battles while traveling as well as in events. If you encounter an enemy too powerful, you can try to escape. Is that a treasure? Train We're just in the training room. It doesn't really tell us much. Let's go. Okay, there is a supplies chest. Inspect it. There's a sign next to the chest that reads, One free potion per adventure. We'll take the potion. Double click my bag to view your items. Click and drag items between them. Bags have a limit to how much they can hold. So we can actually just drag that in here. King summons. The old star. Wait, the old tell stories of the shifting land. One, uh, when one day the sun won't rise, but instead an eternal being will travel over the land, closing the sky with its unthinkable size. Its footprints distort the ground. Those few who survive will no longer recognize the land, and history will begin anew. Every era. The people of the land seek a savior to end the cycle of destruction brought on by the Eternal One, which some call the Sky Eater. Ancient prophecies predict an outsider will come to the king's land only days before a reckoning and gain the power to destroy the Sky Eater. Okay. Come to the king's castle of the east to prove yourself worthy savior of the land. Got it. Continue. Travel. All right, all right. Return to surface. Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, this is the king's land. The king's castle is to the east, but be careful traveling to the east too quickly. There are powerful monsters closer to the king's castle. Take your time to get some experience on the way. So we can hit nodes along the way, presumably. You got a quest. All right. I love it. It's presented like an email. All right. 
Uh, we have an adventure corp here, uh, here to guide you on your pilgrimage. Yeah, first thing you want to do is get acquainted with the guild. The guild is an organization that employs outsiders like yourself to do various tasks around the land. Their rewards will be essential to your journey. Bring them the letter that brought you here, and they'll take it from there. You can find guild posts at any fort and in some small villages. All right. So that's our quest. We got music. Can I put on some music? We can. It's a little bit loud. I might want to lower that, but... Now well, I guess I'll just do edit it in post, I guess. So this is our level. We can... Oh, we can. Okay. I gotta just... I gotta treat it like it's a, uh... It's, it's an actual operating system. I assume it's gonna work the same way. So our world navigation, tabs. Can I just kill that and let the music play? No, I have to actually keep it running. Got it. Log, status. All right, all right, let's go. We can inspect this. It's an outpost. Sure. All right, we're there. There's nothing here. All right, well, let's travel here then. Okay, so far we're gaining nothing. Oh, it's a monster! It's uh, an unburied appears. Ooh, and it's, it's moving. All right, we got him. Loot, leave and continue. All right, so we can get random encounters. And it's, it's the difficulty is that the window moves. Interesting. I kind of like it. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's take this in our bag here. Ruined armor. Uh, a deft metal hat and a nail club. Do I have, uh, equipment? Perfect. Got a little hat on. You can't use this item yet. Okay. Can't use that either. Nail club, maybe? And I can't use that either. I guess it would be, like, based on our skills, then. Wait, I can learn it. But not yet. Alright, well, we'll leave that as it is for now. Ooh, we have, like, a morality system, too, it looks like. That's cool. Can we go? Oh, leave and continue. Right, right, right. All right, we made it. You come across another wanderer on your path, sitting on a rock. They look scared. Well, approach them. The wanderer appears to be injured and asks for your help. I'll give you my potion. Gain strengths and thanks you. The wanderer tells you about a great treasure and marks it in a location on your map. Is this the great treasure? Outpost. 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 I wonder if it's, uh, I can't, like, move the map around at all. I kind of want to go to the castle, but at the same time, I want to I want to explore some still. Maybe level up, gain some experience. You know what I'm saying? Do that whole grindy thing. Oh, hell yeah, new skill! Double-click on math icon to open the character screen, choose new stats and skills, to, and equip items. Choose a new skill. How about we go classic offensive ability? It costs two magic to use. Inflict five fire damage, costs three. Oh, the upgrade is that. So two fire damage for two magic, five fire damage for three on its upgrade. Let's take burn. Can't learn anything else. That's fine. So our equipment must be level based then, no? Properties. Defense four, required level four. Stat points available. Uh, Why don't we get, no, I should have done it the other way around. Intellect and that. All right, that's fine. I didn't mean to get strength, but that's okay. Damage one to two, required level two. Required level two, perfect. So I can equip this. So this broken sword, what does it do for damage? Zero to one? Hell yeah, we're already looking good. Uh, That's just like a, what we fought, I guess. Loot, b we'll take it. Can I just drop it in the bag? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. We'll even continue. Nothing here. Maybe we should head to the castle now. We've leveled up. We're walking through the forest safely. Come across a derelict house. Oh, hell yeah. Enter the derelict house. You stand on the entrance of the derelict house. There are several rooms. Where do you go? He the library. I'm a wizard, man. Give me spells. You're in the library. The ceiling is sagging. Check bookcases. Scroll of chill. Yo, dog. Chill. Holmes. All right, we'll go back, we'll go to the bedroom. We'll rest in the bed, why not? There are skeletons in your area. 
The Church of Ascending has been raising the dead from their own graveyards to protect themselves from the many threats of the land in, the, in these trying days. Unfortunately, animators of the Church often lose control of their unearthed and don't clean up their mess. Bring us some skulls intact and we can give you a proper burial. Sweet, we get a ring, some money. So what do I do with this? I can only use it once, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's a one-time cast item. Noted. Nursery. Uh, okay. Burn. Oh, oh god, I'm poisoned. I don't know what's happening. Oh my god, I'm getting my shit kicked in. Loot it. Skull? We definitely want the skull, because it's part of the quest. We'll take the axe. We'll take a look and see what, what if it's usable. We need nine strength, but it is usable if we do have nine strength. Not going to worry about that too much. There's a monster. Go to the hall. Unlock the chest. Open the... Oh, we used the key to open that. Okay. Ooh, traveler's robe. Properties. Plus one travel distance. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that there. Put this in our bag. Book of Axe Mastery. Let's go ahead and use it. Might as well do more damage with axes. And we can go ahead and leave. All right. Let's go to the kingdom. We have a robe now. We look like a proper wizard. Uh, excuse me? Guild. Quests. Orientation. We want to submit this. We got a supplies bag. We want to take all of that and pop it in our bag here. I can see this might get like a little cumbersome with just a billion windows open. I don't I don't know if that adds to the charm or if I actually don't like it very much, but that's fine. We got a message here. Okay. I don't know if I want the bag, but I'm gonna, I guess I'll keep it. I don't know if it's gonna help me at all. But we need to go get, we need to go get more skulls. We can do some storage. Why don't we drop this and this. Ruin plus one armor, which I'm gonna put away for now. We'll go ahead and store those. Can we heal up? How much gold do I have? Is it in my bag? Alright, let's just, let's just sleep. I'm gonna spend it. I don't know how much money I have. Hurry up, limited time offer. Trevor, we want you to do our part. Help the adventurers trying to save the land from the coming apocalypse. To do that, we are giving out free potions. Offer available until 4 p.m. while supplies last up more per customer. All right, all right. So if I want to travel, do that. Magic shop. All right, well, let's go back. There's something like a little tentacle going on over there. It's over there. All right, let's go. Let's travel over here. A little tentacle in the water worries me. All right. Let's go ahead. I don't want to use up my magic too much if I don't have to. He hits hard! Can I just loot it? I guess I have to drag it every single time. Come across Forgotten Dwelling. Of course I enter. We go to the study. That's fine. Kill this thing. I don't want to use magic if I don't have to. Okay, we'll loot it. Grab that in the bag. Sucks that the, the study was empty. Ceiling is sagging. Here, did you hear a noise? Unlock the chest. Open the chest. Hell yes, an orb. And a nail club, which we already are, are using, but what's the orb? Let's take a look. Eight intellect. All right, so we can't use it yet, but we will soon. I'll rest up in the bed. I don't know if we'll get attacked, but. I don't know why it goes bong. We can just leave. I want to get to the star, man. Oh, God. We critical hit him. That's awesome. And we leveled up. Beautiful. So let's loot him. And I have another quest. Uh, I want to grab... Um, we could upgrade this. But I think I'm going to grab heal for now. King's Castle. 
Hello, Matt. The speaking way to the king's castle will be an easy task. There are three beacons that first must be lit before the king's gate will open. These beacons are spread out across the island and are protected by the king's most powerful knights. To help you find your way, we've put it on the map, uh, island, and your storage box, the guild. Go to any guild out outpost to pick it up. So we gotta go pick it up. But we gotta we gotta level up first. So let's go. Intellect, intellect, vitality, I think, is where I wanna go. And now I can actually equip this in my offhand. Alright, and now we can leave. Oh, this is a zombie thing. An unburied, but that's fine because we need the unburied. Uh, for his skull, if he's got one. He doesn't, but he has a key. And that is valuable. A gang of bandits. Let's approach them. There are two of them. Let's talk. No, we're not going to pay you 13. Hell no. Let's fight him. Uh, we'll just go ahead and boom. Avoid. And now we'll just go ahead and smack him. I had to, like, throw a ton of magic at them. I have no more magic. Am I about to die? No, I'll just add a magic. I'll live, I think, but... Dang, man. Let's just grab this. And then let's grab whatever. Bandit teeth. Again, something you probably would loot for something other stuff. Get rid of that. Sure. More stuff. Um, alright. So, this, this over here is where I need to go. I'm enjoying the music, actually. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a bone. It's a bony. I need it. I need a skull. I don't know if, if it's going to be my second skull or what, but I got a key. How are these... I feel like I'm playing Vanilla WoW. How are these guys not dropping anything skull-wise? They're freaking skeletons. I don't understand. You've arrived at the location of the quest. Hurry, limited time offer. Continue. Uh, I'm going to cut in line. You walk to the front of the line, but are quickly stopped by one of the other adventures. Go back to the end of the line. Wait in line. There's six people ahead. Wait in line. I wonder if I'm going to, like, run out of time. Uh, a full health potion. Let's go ahead and grab this. We should actually use this potion to heal up a little bit. Alright, let's leave. Um, so I need to go to, like, areas that have... I gotta go back to the guild, actually. So there's gotta be a guild outpost over here now that I think about it. Oh, Jesus. Attack him. I wonder if I can defend. Can I not block anymore? If I block... He still does freaking four damage! And he had nothing on him! That's stupid. All right, let's go here. And back, and let's go here. I think that might be our magic regening when it pops like that. Oh, Jesus. Block. Okay, come on. It's a fungaloid. Oh, God, it's got a little fungaloid. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I level, oh, I leveled up and I got max health. Holy God damn. Oh, that was close, man. I did not realize that that's how that was going to go. All right, let's upgrade our burn skill to burn two. And then we will pop our vitality up by one, intelligence up by one. And we'll even bop, bop our strength up just a little bit since we do tend to do uh, some melee attacks. All right, well, that's not where I need to be. Maybe we'll go over here. I just need to find... Some a guild outpost, man. Oh, fuck. He's dead. And please go. Really? You lived through that? I'm actually finding myself a little bit happy that some of these guys are uh, dying. Or uh, not happy. Annoyed, rather. Or no, happy that they don't have any loot because. Selling the loot is kind of obnoxious. All right, let's see. None of these have a guild in them. I'm gonna have to go. I know where there is a guild. It's just so far back. 
What the hell is this? A cultist? Oh, void. Please avoid that. They tried to curse me, asshole! I like how they tried to make the combat a little bit more involved by moving the windows around. It reminds me a little bit of, um... It reminds me a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Undertale. Where they try and, like, make, you know, the old turn-based combat a little bit more exciting. But this is less than that. That looks absolutely horrifying. Oh god, I gotta run. No, no. Not, not dealing with that. General store, weapon shop. Can I just sell some stuff? Like... Throw away. Throw away. No, I can't. How do I make money? Just doing quests? Alright, let's head back down this way then. No, run. No, please run. Thank you. Why is there a shadow? Oh, is it because of the map? Oh, God! Well... Mathis the Wanderer, level 4 mage, killed by a shadow. I guess the, like, the shadow on the left, as it creeps up, it means more and more uh, enemies are going to, to show up. I earned six gems. So we can go shop now. Spend gems to permanently unlock new gifts. I have six. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of roguelike going in. I, I like it. That's kind of cool. Well, let's go with a dagger. And it's unlocked. And that's that. And then we start a new one. We can look at... Can we look at him? This adventure has died. Do you want to bury them? Sure. Choose a memento. We'll choose the Ring of Frenzy, I guess. And uh, you know what? I think it's going to be our first look here at the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm curious what you guys think of uh, what I'm showing off here. If you enjoyed it or want to see more, you let me know in the comment section below. If you want to check it out and you own it already and you're checking it out, let me know what you guys think of the game as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.